Hello everyone, my name is Zachary as always, and today I'm talking about Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. After Batman the Animated Series, we got Batman Beyond. Um, it still takes place in the Batman the Animated Series, but this time Batman is old and grumpy and stuff. And then you have a younger Batman that kind of comes into Bruce's life and says, you know what, I'm too old for this, so you're going to be the Batman. So then we got this whole show. In fact, this is the Batman Beyond DVD for the TV show. Um, but we're not talking about the show today, we are talking about The Return of the Joker. That one is a film that was made, kind of as a spin-off of Batman Beyond, where the Joker makes his grand return. And you can't just do it as any other episode of this show, you have to make it this big thing. Mark Hamill's returning in this, it's, it's gonna be crazy. So they made like an hour and a half, two hour thing, and I'm gonna talk about it today. So... In this thing, we the the main focus is between Alec McGinnis and um the Joker. We have this young version of Batman versus the Joker. It's it, Joker's bring, being brought into a new world. The world is way more modern than he remembers. He's like, you know, I've been dead for all this time. I gotta fix this. So now you might be wondering, how did Joker die? Because we know by the time Batman Beyond rolls around, Joker's dead. He's gone, and so is most of the other villains. If like, almost all the villains are dead. I mean, Joker's dead, Two-Face is dead, Harley Quinn is, like, in her 70s with two kids. It's crazy. But, um, the Joker, we actually get a flashback sequence where we get to see, um, deeper, um, the Joker and Batman. It's just an amazing story. It's kind of like a little subplot showing what happened to the Joker originally during the Batman the Animated Series era. And I, this deserves a whole another video, to be honest. Like, this whole flashback sequence... But to, but to put it, um, but to massively under, um, talk about it, it's basically where the Joker kidnaps Robin, the, just a little kid, right, experiments on him, turns him into a little Joker, and then, um, and then, um, basically psychological torture on this kid, Robin, while Batman is going through a torture of his own, trying to find Robin, hoping, you know what, I'm, the maybe, maybe it was a little bit irresponsible to help to throw this kid into the middle of danger. Maybe I'll learn that for later. He doesn't, by the way. Anyways, um, so he eventually finds where, um, where the, where baby, where little Robin's being held. And he's like, I gotta stop this man. But Joker has a whole other thing of his own. And he, like, any bamboozles and tricks, um, Batman. And this is the hard hitter of the scene, right? The Joker is taunting Batman, right? He's sitting in his, in this booth while Batman is down below. And then he says, he calls Batman Bruce Wayne. It, it, that just blows the whole thing wide open. And now it's, it's normal for the villains to figure out what his name is, like, and be like, oh, Bruce Wayne. Now that's, uh, that's Batman. But this time, it's different because the Batman the Animated Series Joker, you would never expect to see. It's like the way that he says it, the way that he's composed when he says it. He's just sitting in his chair and he looks like smugly at Batman. And he says, Bruce. And he's just like, because all this time it's only been Batman versus Joker, but now it's Bruce Wayne, aka Batman versus the Joker. And it, it just changes everything, I think. But. But, well, Bat well, Joker's not gonna have any time to share this with- this information with anybody because he ends up dying because Lil Robin is- well, um, to be honest, it's kinda sad. He shows, like, this video of Robin being tortured to Batman while he's telling him that he knows his secret identity. So it's like a whole another level of just, wow. I mean, it's Batman versus Joker. I mean, it's awesome. So, um, eventually- Lil Robin does end up shooting, um, the Joker and killing him in the process. Shoots him right in the chest. But anyhow, um, he's gone. So now we go back to the Batman Beyond whole thing. We get to catch up with Robin, which actually isn't Robin because, um, the Joker gets his whole plan, right? And he has this little link thing. He has this little chip in his neck where it's like, you know what? How I'm going to survive is that I, this chip is going to keep me alive. And I and my vessel, the way I'm staying, staying alive, is through Robin. Because when I, because in Batman the Animated Series, that era, the Joker 
put a little bit of his DNA inside of Robin, so even if Joker died, which he probably knew he would, um, because Batman would be fighting his, like, fighting at his, at his, like, strongest and everything, so he probably knew he was gonna die, um, for, like, when he did. So now, it, it, this plant, this seed planted in Robin, that he knew years later would come into play, and it not, does now, because now Robin's elderly, he works, like, out in this area working on tech or whatever, um, it was, he's like this engineer, and, um, but in between times, the Joker will take over, um, the, uh, the Robin's body, and, like, older version, and then, like, will just slowly take over little by little, like, little bits of time at, like, a thing, and over this time, ro the Robin will just think, hey, that's a weird dream, but anyway, so, um, the Joker is as a game this time against the Batman Beyond Batman. The the little the younger um Alec Guinness Batman really gets to prove himself as um you know what I'm gonna step up to the plate and really wreck these people that that the OG Batman fought. So he does this and he does it well because eventually get, they get to a candy factory after Joker goes to the Batcave. Bat Bruce Wayne just gets pummeled. Um, and then this is the final showdown, and now Joker's like, you know what, I'm just, I'm gonna destroy Gotham City, but Alec messes this up, and is like, great, now it's heading right towards us, and I'm gonna have to try again in, like, a few years. It's like he already had a backup plan. I don't know, it's, it's kind of interesting to think about. Um, but anyways, he's like, yeah, we're gonna die, better luck next time. But then, Alec d just didn't stop. He beats up. Um, the Joker, and he gets crazy, right? And it's so good. You can see him fight, and then, um, Bat, and then he, and then Alec just disappears into the, um, ceiling, and then just starts taunting the Joker the same way that the Joker taunted Batman back in the Batman the Animated Series flashback. And it's really interesting to see how the tables have turned. It's all reversed. This time, the rules are reversed. And, um, eventually he gets the best of Joker, which I don't know if I like, because it's like, you can't really get the best of Joker, or the worst, I guess you'd say, because he is the ain the agent of chaos, so to speak. He, you can't get the any of him. He is just this being, this force of nature. He's crazy. You can't get the best of him. So like, seeing this version. You know, be able to get the best of him, kind of annoy him, and kind of tick him off. It's really interesting to see, because the Ben and the Amy series Batman wasn't able to do that. Honestly, he would just laugh. But this one gets frustrated when he's talking to him. So it's like, I don't know, he's kind of being taunted by a kid. I don't know. It's just really fun. And eventually, the Joker does die, because his buzzer goes onto his chip, electrocuting him, and then he dies. And something interesting is, did you know that this movie went through a lot of different things during production? And some topics I, in, some topics I can't even talk about because the, I don't know, I just, this isn't, it's not, it's not that kind of channel, but like, um, some things were happening around the time that this was in production. They had to change the ending, but after some backlash after release, they make DVD versions and other re-released versions of this that um got re-released and eventually we got like multiple different versions but the version that's on streaming right now is the version not the original version but the, orig the version that was originally supposed to be released before they made those changes um so yeah i think that's really interesting it's also really underrated just like mask of the phantasm they did no marketing for this not not the dvd release not the actual film release not the TV release, no marketing. There may have been one or two ads, but it's like super basic. They basically did nothing for this. Um, it's really unfortunate because this is so good and it's among one of the best Batman movies and made that is. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk about this. If you all enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.